I know you guys been wondering where has this series went and it's back. Free download Friday. Trap Tendo. What is going on guys? DJ Av here with another episode of Free Download Friday. Your favorite day and especially my favorite day. And it is brought to you by the guys over there at Two Rule with their Two Rule filter plugin. And I know a lot of people wonder if I was going to do this type of series anymore. And I just wait for stuff to come out that's really good. And this one right here is a multi effect filter plugin that has some pretty cool tricks about it. I'll have the link in the description box, but I'm going to demonstrate it and show you how it works. And I want you guys to weigh in in the comment section if you're going to try it out or not. It works for both Windows and Mac. And yeah, like that, you already know I will be double installing it. Uh, the link will be in the description box if you need any help on how to install VST plugins, just in case you are one of those people, I will help you out. Let's begin. As always, again, I will repeat myself. Well, the link will be in the description box uh, and it will look like this right here. It will say two rule VST plugins, two rule filters. And yeah, we, here we are, filter, my bad. And you can see that it works for both Windows and Mac, just like I said at the very beginning of the video here. And they have a new UI and it tells you high pass, low pass, band pass filter, modulation filter cutoff, bit crush, which is a very interesting effect. Mixed balance in between, uh, sensitivity that allows filter cutoff frequencies and then a demonstration here. But hey, you're here for me to demonstrate it. So what I'm gonna do here and what you should do is download the appropriate file so that you have the plugin itself. I see there is a filter G and a filter C. So I'm gonna read this right here, download for Windows 64 bit, same plugin, different graphic handling. Um, let's see which one, hopefully I will be downloading the one that is the most. All right, so you click on this and it tells you to download right here from Google Drive. I'm downloading it from Google Drive here and it will tell you right down here to confirm uh, that you want this download. So you download it and it will be a DLL file. So uh, what you need to do with your DLL file is this right here. Uh, if you're on Windows, of course, on MacBook, it will have an installation uh, setup execution file. So, you know, don't worry about that, but uh, let's go into show and folder here. And then I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna cut it. I'm gonna go to my basic files over here, this PC. So let's go into this PC. We're gonna look for our VST plugin folder. And once I find my VST plugin folder, I will uh, paste it inside of there. So let's go ahead and do that. And it should be good to go. Uh, I do have a video on how to do that, uh, but I might as well just do it here. It's not gonna be a very long process here. So I see my VST plugins folder, which has a whole bunch of VST plugins. I'm gonna go over here and then paste it inside of there. And then that's it for that part of the process. Obviously, whatever DAW you decide to use it in, uh, you will have to do a scan of some sorts, maybe not in Ableton Live 11, because it will automatically scan your plugins in unless you have anything else uh, set up as far as the scripts. So I'm using the MPC software. So I'm inside of the MPC software right now. I'm gonna go over and just go into my preferences here. Uh, and now I'm gonna go to my plugins and make sure that I have uh, the Steinberg VST plugins. Well, program files, VST plugins is the one I wanna scan because that's where I dropped it at, scan new, and it'll go through the process and, and I'll see what it's really about uh, from here, from that point on. So I see two rule filter inside of here. You see it, it says okay. So that means that it will work inside the MPC software. So that's a really good thing because the MPC software and the B software only supports VST2 plugins. And yeah, you just gotta be conscious of what you do here. And since it's an effect, I will pull it up over here. Hopefully it will be listed under the company's name so I can grab it and get it started here. Okay, so now I have the plugin pulled up inside the MPC software. It's on the sample track right now. And I have the presets here. So what I'm gonna do is go through the presets and then I'll talk about how you would use it and, and see how nutty it is for a free plugin. Pretty cool concept. So let's go through the, the presets here. Just... 
ahead and mute the 808 for a second so we can actually hear what it's doing. You see Chaos Reverse is the preset I have it on that right now. And let's see. Repeater, see that. Add more of the wet in here. So what I'm going to do here is talk about basic things about this effect. So. What I have this effect on is the sample that I chopped. And just to, so you can hear the overall results. I tried it on the hi-hats, it was meh. I tried it on the 808, it was meh. But more or less, I want you guys to have a firm understanding of how it works. So two rule filter. Uh, it has some rules, I guess. Uh, the main thing that I wanna show you is the, how the processing works here. So uh, you choose the modulation type. Do you wanna use either LFO or do you wanna use the envelope? So what I want to do here is just use the LFO and you can go through the LFO type. So if I was to start playing this again, let's hear it. So let's go ahead and do that. So you have different LFO types and what is, you have here is your sine wave, your sawtooth and your square lead. So it will take that shape of the filter process seeing that it's going through the two filters and act as if it's modulating. Kind of like any synthesizer will work except it's just working on audio, which is kind of brilliant for the most part. Uh, you can smooth it out if it's too harsh for you. You can change the, uh, the rate. Right now it's in Hertz mode, but I can seek it to the BPM for a more natural sound. I can turn the offset off, which allows it to catch immediately, as you can hear right now. I can choose to smooth it. The next thing I could do is add smoothness. So it won't be so harsh when it's on like a square LFO. I can choose to have the frequency, where, where the frequency I want to do. I want it in the, the lower frequency or the higher frequency. Uh, which it will rotate in between the low pass, band pass, and high pass filter. Uh, Dictate it with this right here. It tells you the filter type mod, and you can see this, the speed of it going in tandem or in randomization, but rotating in between the filter sizes or filter types. Then you have bit crushing towards the end here. And if I was to dictate, if I want more bit crushing, it would do it randomly, of course. Uh, I can add more resonance, which could be, if you go too far, it will sound crazier. Uh, then you can do uh, divisions of what you want the beat divisions to be. And it's represented over here in this section right, right here on the UI. Uh, I can turn offset off and it'll be more rough. I can do reverse and it'll go in reverse here. I can choose silence here. And down here, I can choose to add more of the wet mix or more of the dry mix. Let's turn off that. And of course, I can choose if how loud I want that effect to be. Uh, there are different modes that you have. Uh, you have manual mode where you could do it on your on your own. Then envelope. Do envelope def. But it'd be dictated for per syncing.
Overall, not bad. I think it's a pretty cool plugin for what it is. That's for sure. So, tell me how you feel about this plugin. I definitely wanna hear from you guys in the comments section. Yeah, so we have something pretty cool by a company I haven't heard much from ever. And I just wanted to show you guys that, hey, it's pretty decent and yeah. So <laughs> hopefully you guys will enjoy it and let me know how you feel about it in the comments.